we looked at those uh, sand bushmen out there in the out, out there on the savannas, these people are skinny. They would have a body mass index of around 17 or 18, a body fat percentage for the men around about 6%, maybe the women around 9 to 10%. Now these figures are off the bottom of the scale of what is normally regarded as being a healthy ratios, healthy weights. And yet everything we know about human health is that this is the way to be. And we can kind of see why this might be the case. First of all, these people are not eating a high glycemic diet. They are not putting on extra fat due to the hyperinsulinemia, locking away excess sugar in the fat cells. But more importantly than that, there are other things going on. <clears throat> in particular, they are slightly hungry most of the time because there is this kind of tension between the effort of getting the food and the pleasure in actually eating it. So you've really got to want to eat in order to walk a mile, climb a tree, knock down a nut, crack the nut open and walk back a mile. And so people were slightly hungry a lot of the time. And this is an important feature of human biochemistry. We now understand that we need to be slightly hungry and we're not talking about starving, we're not talking about fasting, we're just talking about feeling a bit hungry for the hour before the next meal. That is enough. And quite honestly, most people around the world live like that all the time. And it's only us in the industrialized West who can afford to, when we feel slightly hungry, open the fridge door and pull out something to eat or pull out uh, a, a, a Mars bar or something like that. Feeling slightly hungry does things. It reverses the mischief that insulin does. Because what happens is the body then needs to resupply glucose into the bloodstream. It has to draw fat out of the fat cells, convert it into blood sugar. And it does this using another hormone, which is like the antidote to insulin, called glucagon. And when glucagon is in the bloodstream, it is not only drawing out and raising blood sugar levels to where they need to be, it is doing the opposite of all the mischief that insulin does. It, it depresses blood clotting. In other words, your blood doesn't clot so readily. It depresses blood pressure. It improves mood. It improves your immune system reactions. It improves bone building. It improves and depresses inflammation. So this is part of another axis which we need to be able to get operating in today's world. Now it's not a message everybody wants to hear, but on the other hand, it's not that hard. Just feel a little bit hungry before the end of the, the beginning of the next meal. We'll now move on to the final characteristic I want to talk about in the next segment. Everything Jeff Bond says in these videos and a whole lot more is to be found in his book, Deadly Harvest. Check it out at www.deadlyharvest.com.